Hello, my name is Jalen Avila, and in this five minute Sono video, we are going to discuss the identification of an elbow effusion as well as techniques for aspiration and injection of that joint. Now, the technique for aspiration and injection is the same, it's just with one, you are injecting things into there, and with the other, you are withdrawing fluid from that joint space. Now, with any medium sized and small sized joint, the linear transducer is going to be your best bet. And as far as identification of an effusion in that elbow joint, there are a few different locations in which you can identify an effusion. My preferred is to have the patient flex their elbow and go posteriorly, basically anchoring the bottom of the transducer right on that olecranon with a probe marker facing up towards the shoulder. And you should see these structures here. Now this right here, this actually confused me for a while to know if this was the humerus, maybe this was the olecranon, but it turns out this whole thing is the humerus, just different parts of the humerus. The elbow joint extends from down here and the olecranon goes all the way up and around and attaches to the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. This right here is some adipose tissue within the elbow joint and on an x-ray is what you will see when you see a posterior fat pad. That's this thing bulging up out of the joint. You can also look for effusions in the anterior medial orientation here. Same thing, probe marker facing up, and you'll identify very similar structures to what you did in the back. You're just identifying it in the front, and you're gonna look for an effusion in this area right here. We can also look for an effusion in the anterior and lateral location. We are gonna find the humerus, that's this thing right here. I have the probe uh, flipped 180 degrees, and we'll identify the joint in this area as well, right there. I'm gonna take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Now with the fusions, what we're trying to do is really identify this fat pad being pushed up out of that joint. This is normal, this is a type one supracondylar. We see the sale sign right here in the posterior fat pad because we have fluid inside the joint pushing the fat, that's this more radiolucent stuff over here, pushing it out of the joint. So let's look at this right here. This is an image of an elbow, a cross-sectional image. And this is how we're identifying that effusion. We're trying to figure out if this fat pad is being pushed up out of that joint. Imagine an imaginary line between here and here, these anatomical structures on the humerus. We don't want this joint capsule right here to be pushed up out of a line intersecting these two. Let's compare that with this one over here. No significant effusion, and all this is a pretty significant effusion pushing the capsule up out from the imaginary line that we can draw between the trochlea and the epicondyle of that humerus. This is what an effusion looks like. Now, one thing that can cause a bit of confusion is this giant structure right here. This is not an effusion. This is not inside the joint per se. This is actually bursitis, and we can actually track that. I started more in the form, and now I'm rotating around to the humerus side of the upper arm. We can see the triceps tendon. Here's the epicondyle, here's the trochlea. We're seeing bursitis over here, edema, no significant joint effusion over here. Now with aspiration or injection, we can approach this from three different techniques. We can do the in-plane, we can do the out-of-plane, which is my preferred technique for ultrasound guided IVs, or we can do the way out-of-plane technique with this one. It works very well in small spaces, but we're not gonna have great needle visualization, so it's kind of a trade-off. With probe placement, you can aspirate or inject in any of the areas that I already talked about, but my preferred, especially for aspiration, is gonna be to come from a posterior approach, identify that effusion, that largest pocket, and then place a transducer transverse over that biggest pocket and approach with your needle like this, 
Now, when you come at it from this orientation, this is the in-plane technique relative to the probe, you're gonna have a little bit of issue sometimes getting over this hump right here of the humerus. So you just have to be careful with your trajectory not coming down and just hitting that part of the humerus. You wanna go over it. And here's an example. There's the needle in plane. We're transverse to the humerus, but in plane with the needle itself. And we are approaching that fluid pocket right here and we're able to aspirate. Here is an example of a different approach. The probe is still, probe marker is still going up towards the patient's head. This is the humerus right here and right here. And this right here is a triceps muscle. This is for an injection. We can see the needle coming in in plane, but with the probe marker up instead of with the probe marker transverse to the humerus. And we're able to see that fluid infiltrating that space. That's it for this five minute Sono video. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.